All right, guys, welcome back. We'll get started here in a few minutes. I had originally planned this for Friday. I will not be available this coming Friday. So I had some time this morning before I start my day. And we'll talk about doing YouTube, getting started with a YouTube channel for $500 uh, or less. Yes, even today it can be done. In fact, you can do it for $200 or less uh, if you wanted to. All you need is a smartphone. And we'll talk about that later. So we'll give this a few minutes for people to jump in the chat. Uh, this was unscheduled. I had some other duties to do this morning, such as uh, cutting grass and all that fun stuff. But Mother Nature said, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, a lot of rain here in Ohio. Hello, Sergey. How are you? Welcome. I had my breakfast and I feel good. Ah, we have an international audience this morning. We have Vince from Australia. What's up, Mike? We have Edmund Theobald. Good morning. All right, let me get situated here with my notes. Paul is in the house. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining in Ohio. I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. And, um, now nah, what are you going to do? Um. <clears throat> All right, let's see. The stream looks good. Let's get out of that. All right, looking good. All right, let's go to transition. And if you, if somebody is coming along the stream watching this new, um, I'm running this with something called Ubuntu Mate. You may have seen OBS Screencaster, screen recorder. And this is how I do things. I like to show behind the scenes when I do these for all the newbies out there. So just to give you an idea of what's involved. It's not that difficult. It just takes some patience, some time to learn. And that's how you do it. All right, give me one second to get some water. I'll be right back. All right. I guess you guys can hear me okay. Sound check, test, test. Looks good on my end. Very good. Uh, you going to review Slackware? Uh, I really haven't thought about it, Paul. Uh, I actually downloaded and installed the latest, uh, was it Kubuntu or KDE Neon? I did a full install of one of my test machines and I really haven't had time to look at it yet. I've been busy with my <laughs> with my dad's uh, movie project, but uh, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I probably will not be taking a look at Slackware. I like my slacks, uh, the the ones that I wear, my pants. <laughs> the sound is good, very good. I'm just fine. Okay, all right, I get it. Yeah, slacks are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Except in Florida, just wear your shorts. Oh, I got a message, a notification from Nokia phones. Everything and more. Selected retailers for Nokia phones. Okay, well, if they were happy, if they would send me a demo phone, I'd be happy to take a look at it. Anyway. Let's play some music. Music once again from the YouTube audio library.
A green phone to test. Uh, a free phone to test. Yeah, if they would send me one, I would, I would, I would be happy to test it. I mean, I would even pay for shipping. But anyway, but not today. Looks like the HP Omen 15 and 17 is updated with 9th gen Intel chips. Yeah, that was actually one of the machines I was looking at. If I had the budget for it. Alright, shall we get started with how to get started on YouTube for less than $500? It can be done even by today's standards. Alright, let's get right to it and hopefully someone who's thinking about it will know what's involved. So here we go. All these picks um, are from Amazon. They are affiliate links below in the show notes. Of course, they will help the channel if you would like to purchase something from Amazon. Uh, the channel will get a little commission. All right, let's get started. I'll try to keep up with the chat here as much as I can, but uh, let's get started with getting started on YouTube for less than $500. Let me um, let me keep the chat on top. All right, so obviously you need a computer. Lenovo's play well. Uh, if you if you're thinking about doing Linux in the future, uh, Lenovo's and my tests, even ThinkPads, do very very well. Uh, this is a Lenovo Think Center, a core Intel Core i3, 3.1 gigahertz, 3.1 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, one thing about these type of machines, uh, they will handle YouTube streaming quite well. Uh, it will render video in 720p fine. Uh, just don't expect it to be zippy or fast. That's not what this. Uh, well, that's not what this tutorial today is all about. Today's tutorial is about budget and not speed, as it were. Uh, this machine may even do uh, 1080p video rendering. Uh, it's going to be awfully slow. It can be done. But something like this, figure 720p tops. Uh, you try to do anything more, you'll probably wind up pulling all your hair out. So take a look at a Lenovo. Think Center, uh, you know, renewed, refurbished. These usually come with, with, with some kind of a warranty. In fact, this one says a 90-day warranty. So, yeah, and you, sh and you should be fine. So, so that's the computer. This is a speaker setup that I have, uh, iLive. Uh, this one, I think, is $35. The, um, the computer was $99. This is what I currently use. It has a nice uh, sound to it, three-speaker system, for 35 bucks. Bluetooth, uh, nothing fancy, but it works. It just works the way I want it to. So check out the iLive three-speaker setup. You'll need a camera. Of course, we have all heard of Logitech cameras. This will do HD 1080p. Uh, it has a nice mount to it. This is the um, uh, this is the 930. Mine's a 920, I believe. But but the, you know, but they're all good. Uh, microphone sound quality with these things really aren't all that great. Uh, so yeah, you'll need a microphone uh, so people can hear you. Obviously, let's go. And these runs about the, I think they're about forty dollars right now, something like that. The Logitech headsets. Uh, let's do it this way. The Logitech headset, the USB headset, this is an H570E stereo. Uh, sometimes I'll use this, sometimes I'll use a single mono uh, headset. Uh, notice it has the inline mute, the volume controls can come in very, very handy. Again, these are all inexpensive options and quality with, this, with these headsets is actually quite good uh, for the low price, so check it out. You will need a tripod. This is less than 20 bucks. This is from Amazon Basics, 50 inch lightweight tripod with a bag. Uh, this will be great to hold your camera, um, even a clamp light, a light, which I will show you here in a second. Great for steady shots. You will need a chair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this chair I think is like 50, 60 bucks. 
Uh, one thing about if you're gonna skimp, do not skimp on a good quality chair because you'll be spending hours and hours editing. And you can really mess up your back, your posture, it's not good. So if you're gonna get cheap, do not skimp on the chair, I guess. I think this chair is between uh, 50 and $60. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, sleepy, yeah. Butt cushioning is very important, uh, according to Paris Hilton. <laughs> sleepy knows the joke. <laughs> oh, man. You will need a... Uh, well, a nice widescreen monitor would be nice. Something I don't have. I have a big screen, but yeah, you want a widescreen. This is from Acer. Uh, full HD. Yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> oh, man, that Paris Hilton song. Wow. Anyway, widescreen monitor. Now, you don't need a widescreen. You can go with the simple... <laughs> I know, Sleepy. Oh, wow. Anyway, yeah, get yourself a nice monitor, especially if you wear a glasses or contacts. It'll be easier on the eyes. Uh, the last thing I mentioned is lighting. You can pick up a simple clamp light on, on Amazon for 10 bucks or less. You've seen these probably at Home Depot or somewhere. Uh, they work off a single bul bulb, and uh, yeah, you can clamp this on to a tripod. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, as long as your room has bright white paint, the lighting should be sufficient. It won't be great. Uh, you know, proper lighting, you're looking at at least probably like $100 for those box lights. Uh, but a clamp light, uh, what, what I've been using with bright white walls, bright white painting, uh, should be sufficient uh, for you to get started. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you can get started on YouTube for 200 bucks or less. How you do that? A smartphone, a simple, decent, inexpensive uh, smartphone. If you have a smartphone, do you need a camera? Nope. Do you need a microphone? No. Do you need a monitor? No. It's all there. Now, obviously, with a smartphone, you know your uh, <laughs> your creativity is somewhat limited. You know, just to uh, record video on your phone and just upload it to YouTube as it is. It can be done. It's not something I would do. Uh, as far as simplicity, sometimes I'll do vlogs while driving with my flip video cam. Short vlogs. I don't like to be distracted too much while driving. Uh, I use a windshield mount to mount the camera. And I'll do short, you know, two minute vlogs or less somewhere around there. When I'm done, I come home, I edit the video, and post it on YouTube as a little a quick vlog. But yeah, if you wanted to, you, you, you can get started on YouTube just using your smartphone and nothing else. No computer, no monitor, no video editing software. Just, uh, you know, vlog it, as it were. And that'll get you started. So to recap, Lenovo computer, similar to an i3. A nice three speaker setup, nice camera, decent headset, tripod, yes tripods will come in handy, a comfortable chair, again do not skip on the chair if you got the money, trust me, and a decent monitor, and the last thing is some kind of lighting, again they're on Amazon clamp lights, so you could probably pick up a light you know, at your local Walmart or Home Depot or something similar for about 10 bucks. As long as you have bright white paint uh, walled, painted walls, you should be uh, okay. And if you want to skip all this, just use your smartphone. And uh, yeah, I totaled up. When I totaled all this up, it came to, uh, what was it? 453 US dollars. If you're resourceful, you can even do it for less getting all this equipment, you know, buying stuff on sale, used, refurbished, or whatever. It can be done. So this, yeah, this is my quick tutorial on how to get started doing YouTube for less than $500 or less than $200. Now, once again, this is not <laughs> sleepy. Yeah, that's right. Blame me and Stephanie, best friends, bleep, yeah. Uh, 
boy, what a transition. <laughs> uh, not bad. Yeah, so it can be done. It can be done. Do I, do, do I recommend it? No. Five hundred dollar cat, huh? <laughs> All right, I your comments all right um good morning Don again the recommended budget nowadays is uh, is really closer to 5,000 when you think about it you want to you know a 4k ready PC a couple of nice cameras some proper lighting a good chair you know probably multiple monitors two or three monitors you know, when you add all that up, that's between four or five thousand. And nowadays, that may sound like a lot, but that's considered low end, uh, considering the price of some of these high end computers and cameras. But we'll talk about that in a future video. Again, today's tutorial is not the recommended budget, but simply a budget to get started on YouTube. Now, some of you might be there. Come on, Tunnel OS, really? Doing YouTube for four hundred fifty-three dollars? Come on, man. Well, guess what? I did it for years. Yeah, it can be done. It can be done. You know, start small and go from there. And if your channel grows with AdSense or however you finance your your channel, then add a, you know add the add the equipment accordingly. Uh, but it can be done. You know, it it's, it first starts with you. How do you connect to your audience? You know, what value, what information, what experiences do you bring uh, to help someone else's life? You start with that, you know, and go from there. Uh, no problem, Sleepy. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, that, that song, it's, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Strange world, right? But uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, start, you know, start small and go, you know, go from there. Start with you. And add the equipment on as you move along uh, with your, you know, YouTube videos. So I sometimes get a comment, you know, you know, why 720p? It, you know, it's a matter of time. I can do, ten, I can upload in 1080p, but it, for me, it takes too long. You know, I'd rather do 720 when I'm able to pick up a graphics card and a power supply to upgrade this computer here. Then I'll start doing 1080p, but it's just a matter of convenience and time, you know. If I could convince one person to switch to Linux, it'll be worth it. Uh, yeah. I don't know how many people I've, I've convinced uh, over the years, but um, yeah. At least expose them to try Linux, even if they don't like it. <laughs> First video how to install Padre on Slackware, huh? Uh, let's see, catch up here, uh, cameras are where the majority of the money goes compared to the rest because the camera will need to last for a while. Uh, that's certainly part of it uh, as far as cameras go. Um, if I had the budget, I would, I would buy two 4K ready cameras, you know, one for different angles. I would have a 4K ready machine, doesn't mean I have to record or render uh, in 4K. But yeah, a couple of decent 4K cameras. You're looking at close to, close to two thousand dollars with the lenses and all, uh, you know, or less. But that's how I would do it. So you know, for the people who are out there who, um, you know, may have a complaint or concern about uh, camera quality and all that, it all comes down to a budget.
That being said, thank you for all your contributions uh, to the channel. It was because of you that I was able to pick up a newer uh, computer, not new, but newer. Uh, and I was able to cut down my rendering time uh, doing videos. Uh, PC's power depends on what you're making videos about. General vlogging should need some $30,000 $30, PC. Now, for general vlogging, you can use your smartphone. Uh, again, if I, if I had the budget, if, if AdSense had grown for the channel, not declined over the years, I would have got a decent computer, a couple of cameras. Uh, I already had, you know, TV, TV monitors. I didn't need that. Uh, you know, and really that's all I would need. So, yeah. How much faster it is to render compared to, v, uh, to the previous Sleepy? Well, this new Dell, well, newer, refurbished, recycled Dell. And, and I got lucky. There, there was a place here across the bridge that recycles, uh, re, you know, re, refurbishes Dells for businesses. Anyway, uh, 720p video render uh it cuts the time for example if it's a 30 minute uh video sleepy and i render it in 720p i can render it in like uh 10 minutes so it's it zips if it's 1080p if it's a 30 minute video it's going to be between 25 and 30 minutes and the reason is i don't have a graphics card for this I would have to get a graphics card and a power supply. Uh, I was looking at a GeForce 1060, 50, 60, power supply, maybe $200, 250. And that would speed up the, the rendering in 1080p. Uh, I mean, this machine will do it, it's a Core i7. It'll definitely do 1080p, but it's a little bit slow and it's because it doesn't have a graphics card, so. But 720p, it flies, yeah, so. Uh, Free, Free Geek has branches across the states. I am not familiar with that. Cut that on e-waste, okay. Uh, free geek interesting yeah I mean you know e even if 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 you have if you have say uh, uh, a 4k camera uh, sleepy or a, a higher-end camera not a logitech but a nice DSLR okay uh, and you render that in 720p it looks pretty freaking nice even in 720p but you need to start off with the higher-end quality video first and then downscale it uh, so 720p can be pretty sharp as long as you have a nicer camera you know uh, it's like that old saying uh, garbage in garbage out or you know <laughs> high quality in high quality out so yeah Linux and refurbished is marriage made in heaven yeah, I totally agree. Uh, this machine here, I got a, uh, I installed an SSD uh, with Ubuntu Mate. And speaking of SSD, upgrade the SSD in your ThinkPad for more storage and better speeds. Well, there you go. I'm using the 920, it's great about $100 Canadian. Okay, Jesse. Uh, 720p, 60 frames per second is actually preferred by many over, uh, well, STS, it depends. Uh, with my camera here, I tried it both ways. There's very little difference. There is, but not much. Now, now, if you have a high-end camera and you render it, you want 1080p. Yeah. With a lower-end camera, meaning a non-DSLR like the Logitech, there's not that much of a difference between uh, 720 and 1080p. Um, 
With the higher end camera, there is a difference, although 720p looks pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 you know, like, like I said, it all depends on the camera quality, the monitor. On, on a small smartphone, it doesn't really matter. Really, yeah. Um, Don says agree. Yeah, there's, there's no question if you have the budget, a camera, a 4K camera is the way to go. Then downscale it. And if you downscale that to 720, it looks pretty sharp. Really nice. Even at 30 frames. Uh, but if you have a Logitech camera like, like what I use, no amount of rendering is going to make that much of a difference. You know. Sixty frames for more fluid. Um, again, that depends on the camera. Yeah. Does it hurt that lots of phones these days are pushing 4K on cameras? Absolutely. Um, I almost bought a. I was looking at a Panasonic G7. Lumix, Luminix, Lumix, something like that. Panasonic Luminix G7. Uh, refurbished 4K for less than 400, 500. I, I I came really close to just you know putting it on my card and pay monthly, but I thought nah, nah. I gotta get, I had to get a new computer, new chair, some other things. So, but that that you you would have noticed a jump in picture quality e even at 720p. There's no question. Uh, the $900 plus phones. Yeah, if I'm going to spend $900, Don, for 4K, I'll just buy a nice camera. I will not spend it on a, f a phone. No way. I don't know that Logitech cameras are overrated. They're just not DSLRs, uh, STS. I mean, I mean, they're not really meant to be. They're fine for the price. You know, for the Skype and news and nonsense, it's fine. But if you want high quality anything, you need to go with like a Canon or, you know, Panasonic or something like that. So, yeah. Well, if you're going to be paying monthly, yeah, I'd, I'd go with me, yeah. Planned foldable screen thank pad, think pad. Yes, I did catch that this morning. Uh, sleepy, yes, that's... <laughs> if it actually works, yeah. A wider angle, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to watch videos with your face right up with the camera. People hate that. What are you talking about, Bill? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, when I do buy a, a DSLR, I think it would make sense to make sure it's 4K ready. You know. As far as up close, um, if you're vlogging, like what I do in the car, I don't think it matters that much whether you're, you know, up close or far away, so. Um, let me see uh, real quick here. All right, so here's a Panasonic here, the G7, and uh, lens, 64 gigabyte card, the bundle looks like a little, uh, well, let's take a better look here. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is actually not bad for the money for, I believe this is 4K, so not bad at all. Yeah. Looks like one of those Gobi uh, mounts. Yeah, I would consider something like, like this mm -hmm. to improve video quality, sure. Flip out screen. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I know nasal hair is a, is, is a trend now, yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, we do, it is news and nonsense that we did, right? Yes, phone cameras have come a long way, but they are not DSLR. I totally agree. Strange stories, right, Vince? Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, we, we, um, we throw out them stories because truth is stranger than fiction, obviously. Uh, it's probably not a story I would have picked, but that's okay. It's all news and nonsense, so yeah. Nice camera, yeah, yeah. I would, I would absolutely buy something like this. You got the lens and the case, card. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. I think this is new. It's not, it's not refurbished, is it? I think it's new, yeah. Yeah, right. Best camera is the one you have on you. Exactly. Those of you who are watching this stream a little late, you can catch this on the replay once it's done finalizing. If you have any tips or ideas for getting started with a YouTube channel for less than $500, uh, let me know. Maybe we'll do an update to this. You like that grab handle on the side? Dropped it so many times. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I was going to vlog with this, I would use the uh, this little tripod. Um, anyway. No, I wouldn't leave any expensive equipment in my car either, Paul. Um, yeah, I would. In my car, would probably just use that flip video camera I bought for less than 100 bucks, and it's fine. It's 1080p video, so yeah. This, this, the this Panasonic would be more, you know, here on my, uh, you know, here at home, so.
there's one here for 300 but this doesn't have a um, a flip out screen if I had to guess let's take a look yeah you really need a flip out screen Wow, here's a point and shoot 4K. Huh. For $194. Interesting. Yeah, you have lots, lots, lots of options today for cameras. Huh. Here's the Panasonic, a little bit less money with the 32 gigabyte card. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, they still sell them. Sleepy point and shoot. Yeah, absolutely. This isn't bad. Five hundred dollars for a smaller card. Wow. Yep, you need a fast SSD for four K. Yes. SD. Yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Video camera 4K by AI Techni. Huh. All this for 250 bucks? Hmm. I don't know about the quality. The price is certainly tempting. I don't know. Interesting. Yes, the re wow, this has almost five star review. Holy cow. 79% gave it five stars. Oh, come on. For a $200, $50 for a 4K camera? Okay, well, that's what it says. Um, no, graphics card, I would buy. Um, I'm looking at the G-Force, is that what it is? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the TV shop music in the background. Yes, shop the Total OS Today store. <laughs> Welcome to the, instead of QVC, it's the Total OS shopping channel, right? We have a great deal for you today, exclusively here on the Total OS Network. I'd like to welcome our viewers around the world. <laughs> Fake reviews, right, yeah. Yeah, I think the the, the, the quality would be questionable. Um, uh, let me 
see here. External microphone. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, the music stopped. Let's continue with the music. With the shopping music. <laughs> Infrared night vision. Wow. I don't know. If, if I want to go low end, I would probably stick with the Panasonic. Recording while charging. Okay. There's blues on this list. Uh, isn't it? Heard so good blues. It's there. Yeah. You want to hear it now? <laughs> yeah, total online shopping today. There you go. I got the blues, baby. <laughs> I need a couple cameras. Anyway. I got the blues. Let's see here. Well, for 4K, 13 megapixels isn't bad. Yeah, it's toast, right? Yeah. Um, Ah, this is this is not a 4K camera. It's more like a 3K camera. Interesting. Okay. Oh well. Anyway. Paul has a 1K camera. <laughs> yeah. I have a no K camera. <laughs> uh, I got the blues. Anyway, lots of choices, so. I'd say looking at all of these, I'd say the Panasonic bundle is probably the best deal. <laughs> yeah, the don't got a camera blues, I, I know. I got the Panasonic blues. Yep, Panasonic has always been a good bang for the buck. I would have to agree. Um, I 
anyway. I should get a, a sponsored video for Panasonic, right? Gives me the blues. Boy, ain't that the truth. <sighs> Rain. Mostly sunny in the morning. Anyway. Do a tutorial how to do Vegemite responsibly. Yes. How to do Vegemite responsibly. First you buy it, secondly throw it in the trash, thirdly eat peanut butter on crackers for a snack. That's how you do Vegemite responsibly. I know, no more rain, I've had enough. Anyway. Take a look at some bestsellers. Hmm, the Fire Tablet 7. Does an HP Omen run nowadays? Let me see real quick since we're shopping. Window shopping. Yeah, this is the one, this is the one I was I was salivating. HP Omen. Core i7, 9700. Yeah, this this would this would have been a this could do 4K. I bet you this I can edit video in like you know 20 seconds. Anyway, oh hyper realistic graphics, not just realistic, hyper realistic. Yeah, liquid cooling. Oh yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> Not a bad pro uh no no problem. Uh as soon as I get uh uh ninety more thousand subscribers, I might have a shot, right? Maybe. You know, if, if my dad could sell his movie, God willing, I'm going to buy the fastest bleeping computer on the market. <sighs> I know. Isn't that computer awesome, man? Let's look at it again. Look at the specs. I actually found a refurb of this. Uh, sleepy uh, for like 1400 I'm like oh man it's so tempting uh, let's see let's see yeah it's um, it's a drool computer for 2100 that would be my years my years cost for um, Comcast so technically, I, 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 I can buy the computer, but then I would have to drop Comcast and no YouTube. So I thought, eh, nah. Thirty-two gigs, yeah. Yeah, the sixteen gigs a little low, but I, I think it can still. Uh, 
<laughs> all right, Sergey. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, it it should have 32 gigabytes of RAM. It 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 should. It'll probably still do 4K, but it should have 32 gigs. I would have to agree. Although it has DDR4, so maybe it's fast enough. Yeah. Still, it's a nice drooling computer. Anyway. They certainly look different, don't they? That's the card I want, the G-Force. May the force be with you. Anyway. Well, this has 64 gigabytes of RAM. Hmm. Interesting. Fine, let's customize it. Let's go with, uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. Graphics card, yeah, the 1070 is fine. Memory, 32 gigs would suffice. And uh, let's go with that. Extra features, extra storage, nah, 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 I don't need it. There you go. 2349. <laughs> wow. Now let's max out the graphics card. Now we're up to thirty-four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's max out everything. Cause I deserve it. We maxed out our. I think we have. Okay, five thousand forty-nine. A maxed out YouTube. Machine. There you go. Well, I'll just add this to the wish list. And that's a bit much. <coughs> I would probably go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd go with the Dell uh, i7 desktop. Let's see what we have here. Um, none of these, none of these, none of these, none of those. Nah, 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 nah. Let's do this. Um, dedicated graphics. And let's see what this brings up. probably work. Of 
MRI 764, 4.6 gigahertz, 32 gigs. Yeah, this this will probably work. 1400. Yeah, that would work. GeForce graphics, 1050i, 4 gigabytes graphics. Yeah, that would probably work. Yeah. Next song. <laughs> Appropriate song, Temptation, right? Temptation. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Toddler invades Aussie rules football pitch during game. Ah, a two-year-old Pippa decided she wanted to be part of the action at the amateur Australian rules game. Oh? Well, there you go. Some Australian news there, Pally. Ryzen for video editing? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, iMac. Let's go with an iMac. Let's see how much that runs. Uh, yeah, none of these iMacs are going to... Oh, here we go. This will work. 5K display, uh, yep. Yeah. Eight core Xeon. Oh, well, there you go. Wow, core Intel Core i5. Hmm, no, ah, not such a good deal, is it? Yeah. Federal election on Saturday. The only thing everyone cares is if, if their polling place will have, be having a barbecue. <laughs> we call them democracy sausages. <laughs> uh, wow.
<laughs> Democracy sausage, dog. That is so funny. That sounds like so, like, uh, adultish. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's funny. There's a better price, 1800 A little slower. Anyway. All right, we'll probably wrap this up here in a few minutes. Mia Colucci. What's up, Mia Colucci? Speaking of the Omen, the X HP's Omen X25 is a crazy powerful gaming laptop with two screens. That's interesting. The world's first dual screen gaming laptop. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's well connected. Yeah. Anyway. Asus strikes. Hmm. All right, well, let's finish this up with the blues again, and then we'll wrap it up for this morning. I need to get moving, so here we go. Some more blues.
Yes, that was a gaming laptop, yes. <laughs> Mikey's in the house. What if you only want to spend fifty dollars? Uh, well, you can buy a very inexpensive smartphone, Tux Digital, and there you go. You can vlog on YouTube with that. <laughs> Good luck with the picture quality, but can can you do it with fifty dollars? It can be done. It can be done. With the cheap phone, yes. Consider it done. There you go. The Tux Digital Guide to Doing YouTube for $50. <laughs> uh, after this, Paul, I'm going to eat my lunch, for one thing. <laughs> or single board computers, yes, right. <laughs> Piece the system together from Goodwill. Um, for 50, might be rough. Yeah. Yeah, well, 50 bucks will get you a keyboard and mouse, maybe speakers to get started. <laughs> Kingdom Live Update brings bugs. Man, they, they, they botched the latest one. It's awful. What are, you, what are they thinking? Anyway. Look at refurbs. That's going to be your best bang for the buck. Uh, uh, Tux Digital Caden Live was the best. I was playing around with 19 and I was like, what the bleep is this? What have they done? They destroyed my Caden live. It's no longer alive. It's half dead. It's less intuitive. Yeah. I don't like how they changed the timeline. They separated the video audio. If I wanted to add effects, I got to go all the way up to the timeline versus right clicking to add effects. I mean, come on, man. Do doing videos is, is a long, tedious job. Don't make it longer than what it is, Kate and Live. What are you thinking? Um, yeah, Tux, no, I, I've, I've kept 1812. Uh, the app image is still out there. Uh, 1812 is perfectly fine. Uh, User friendly. Friendlier than yeah, I, I don't know what they were thinking with 19. I really don't. It's like, you know, simplify, simplify. I was disappointed. I did take a look at the latest open shot. It seems a little better. Yeah, I'll do a little video on open shot. It's not bad. It seems better and stable. Um, you do agree the right click thing is weird. That is now reserved for favorite. Yeah, I don't get it because now if you want to do fade ins and outs, and does I got to go all the way up to the timeline, all the way down, and it's you know, it's, it's it's more work. It's dumb. I'm sorry. I love Caden Live, and to all developers out there, God bless you for a great job you've done up until 18. Open shot is better than it used to be. Yeah, no, it's uh, I tried uh, rendering a video in um, one of the formats, and it was like. Wow, what happened? Special effects of time, yeah. I can set those as favorites. It'll be in the right-click menu. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'll take a look. Tux, thank, thank you. But again, it's more work. It's more, you know, I want to simplify, streamline the video process, video editing process, so. 
Honestly, for Linux, Tux, nothing compares to Kaden Live in terms of simplicity, features. The only one that comes close in terms of usability is Shotcut. Um, it's missing a few features, but it's stable, it works, it's fast. So Shotcut is definitely an option. That's my backup. Um, but yeah, with the latest Kaden Live, it's like, no, I don't want that. So, yeah, very disappointed. I uh, tried it in Windows, it seems okay. Okay, alright. I'll stick with Kaden Live 18. It's stable enough for me, it works. And, uh, yeah. Is that what you do mainly, Tux, is Kaden Live? Sunshine Samba. I need some sunshine. Alright, guys, last call for comments. I'm gonna wrap this up. Almost lunchtime. All on Caden Live? Okay, yeah. Since I picked up this Core i7 Dell, rendering in 720p flies. It it zips. It's it's nice. And when I can pick up a graphics card, I'll do a 1080p. But um, it's really nice. Mr. Popeshu, uh, I'm using Ubuntu, using Ubuntu 1904, and it's fine. Yeah. Lapiro says, "What are the problems you have with later versions of Kaden Live?" Um, it's not as intuitive as, or as user-friendly. Uh, before, like in Kaden Live 18, you can right-click below on the timeline. You can add all the effects that you wanted. Now I gotta go up, drag, you know, drag my mouse cursor up to the timeline, back down. It's, it's, it's more work, and I don't like that. I don't like the separation of the video and audio tracks. I like it all on the one timeline. When you separate the audio and video, it may seem more user-friendly, but it takes up more space, and I don't like that. Uh, so, I mean, it's probably stable. It looks fine, but it's 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 less work. I mean, it's it's it was less work with the previous one, Lapiro. Yeah, I mean, with the new one, it's more work. It's more time, and it's it's you know. You know, for those of us who render videos, it's more time and, you know. Anyway, it's more work. It's less user-friendly. So that's, that's, yeah, that's what it is. So I was very surprised, you know, that I made it less intuitive. Change the defaults. Well, like Tux was saying, I can add, uh... Add the favorites, and it'll it'll show up in the timeline to make it more intuitive. But that's but but, but again, I shouldn't have to do that. It should be right there. Uh, and I don't like the splitting of the audio and video tracks. Uh, you spent most of this budget on your chair, fifty dollar chair. <laughs> Four dollar chair, so the fifty dollar for the rent. Okay, all right. Well, well, you, you know what. You need to have a comfortable tush and a, and a solid, stable back. Because if you can't sit down for Tux Digital six-hour streams because of your chair, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. You got to start off with the chair. <laughs> anyway. One more time for the blues. Yes, ex I totally... Look, I'm 6'2", so I get it. I, got to, I have to be comfy. Yeah. I wish mine had a built-in massager. So when I do the streams, welcome to Total Oils Today Live. Boy, this feels so good, good, good. Yeah. No, I'm fine. It's just my massaging chair. <laughs> um, Kaden Live 
19 was working fine. Yeah, the, the UI changes really turned me off, Lapiro. It's just just my personal opinion. So, yeah. Well, I, I went back to 18. And, and I use Shotcut as a backup, so. <laughs> you can't leave the play. I got the blues. If we have any newbies watching, uh, this is still a newbie channel, so please stop by and say hello if you have a question. Well, that's what this channel is here for. It is still, in my opinion, if I may toot my blues horn, this is the best newbie Linux technology channel, channel on YouTube. Of all the things that I've seen, this is still this is still the one, the original. In my humble opinion, you guys feel free to disagree, and that's fine. Lapira says, "Fair point." Yeah, it's less intuitive, Lapira. It's um, I, I don't like it. It's when I first looked, I'm like, "Oh, come on." So anyway, you know, when I when I edit those. Uh, news and nonsense videos with Stephanie, it's hours. Of, and that's the ones without her syncing. <laughs> you know. So it's it takes time. You know. I want I want to go faster. Um, speaking of news and nonsense, maybe this Sunday we'll do I'll check with Steph we'll do a live stream on Mac Talk. Mac Talk Live since that's pretty much what she uses. Uh so maybe that may be something to uh, talk about. Speaking of computers, being a short Frenchman is no fun either. Aha. Tux, do you have a backup video editor? Or is it just Kate Alive? Ah. You tried some editing with four videos mixed with zoom options. It was intuitive. After looking at tutorials, it was relatively easy. Okay. All right. Customize workflow so much to make the editing as little as possible. Cut out three hours. Yeah, though I still have three hours. Yeah, no, it's if you know for those of you who don't know the amount of work involved in doing videos, it's very, very time consuming. So support your local artists, <laughs> as it were. Uh, Lightworks and shotcut. Okay, okay. Yeah, Linux can be fun. It can be a, a journey of, of fun and education, yes. NASA says the moon is shrinking. <laughs> okay. I got the blue. Every time Tux shows on a show late, I got the Tux Digital Blues. Cause I'm waiting for him to come on. <laughs> we love you, Tux. We should do a joint uh, stream together or something. Tux is never late. Uh, except that one time or twice or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the moon is flat. Well, from my observation looking at it, yeah, it's flat. <laughs> Anything else? No, no newbies today want to say hello? Did Tuck scare you when he, when he, when he, when he, when he jumped on? Ah, you were not late this week because you did do a stream this this week, so you couldn't be late to do it. That I'll, that is perfectly acceptable answer. I agree. Uh, 
All right, so I will not be on Friday night. I'll be downtown listening to my good friend from Pittsburgh, Jimmy Z, doing his wonderful American songbook. I don't know about Saturday. Uh, Sunday, we'll do news. I don't know, let me ask you guys. On the news and nonsense, let's skip all the singing. What topic would you like to hear? See and hear. Mac Talk? Windows versus Mac? You tell me. Hello, Lamer. <laughs> that always late. Okay, all right. Keep him waiting. Keep him in suspense. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the moon equals the rear end. Ah. Yeah, Apple Supreme Court ruling they can be sued by their customers. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your moon is expanding. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Fly me to the moon. Oh my. Yeah, I did see that, Tux. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have Apple products. Maybe we could talk about that Sunday since Stephanie uses Mac. See what she thinks. Um. I think around the holidays, Lapira, I think all our moons are expanding. If you know what I mean, right? Well, on that note, <laughs> that sounds like a song, The Expanding Moon. <laughs> For two years, aha. Yep. Well, Lapiro, think at it this way. If you fall, you know, you're walking and you trip and fall on your rear end, that's a nice, just think of it as a nice big airbag. <laughs> well, I have nothing else to say, so we're going to wrap this up. Uh, 64 kilograms to 90. Oh, my goodness gracious. Too many Hershey's chocolate bars. <laughs> That's a fair option, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was watching a video, I don't know why, so this um, uh, lady who was a bit um, uh, large tried to jump on those bit mechanical bulls. Oh my god. Yeah. They make airbags for geriatric to break their fall and stop breaking their hips. Yes, yeah. Hi, Hank. Yeah, I've been on for over an hour or so. I'm sorry. You can watch this on the replay, but I need to get moving. Yeah, it's 11.30 here locally. It's almost almost lunchtime, so... So, again, I will not be on Friday night. Uh, I will be out. And uh, don't know about Saturday and... Uh, no, that's smart clothing, really. Yeah, don't know about Saturday, Sunday, I'll, I'll check, maybe we'll do a live uh, news nonsense, so we'll go from there. So be careful, falling on your moons, <laughs> treat them lovingly, they, they, give you <laughs> they give you all that protection, and uh, wow. Okay, I better get out of here before I get, I, I get in trouble. Thank you all uh, for over nine years of the channel, for all your support and comments, and uh, be safe, and... Uh, I'll catch you uh, this weekend. Arrivederci.